This week's Parsha, Parsha Nasa, that we choose around the world are reading around the world but not in Eretz Israel because in Israel we are one Parsha ahead, is the longest Torah portion, the longest Parsha in the whole five Chumashim, five books of Moses. And it contains 176 verses. When we start reading the Parsha, we may easily notice that the reason that the Parsha is so long is that because there is no there is, I'm sorry, there is one part that is repeating itself precisely, not once or twice, but 12 times. The same one issue, the same one um, part is being repeated 12 times in the Parsha. And this is a very um, notable idea because... We are used to the fact that the Torah is, talk, is talking very shortly, in very short ways. Many times we only understand the issue just because we are comparing two verses in two places, two issues, two places that the same, same issue is discussed, is being discussed. This is the only way that we, are just, we fully understand it. The Torah is so short. It's not writing even one um, word or even one letter that is unneeded, that is unnecessary. And here comes the Torah and repeating itself 12 times. It's five verses that could have been written only one time and it's been repeated 12 times. Seems unnecessary, so what's going on? That issue where all those five verses has been, are being repeated 12 times is the gifts and the sacrifices that the presidents of all of the tri 12 tribes, not including Aharon, the president of the tribe of Levi, all brought the same president, or the same presents to the holy tabernacle, the Mishkan, right after the inauguration of the Mishkan, as they wanted to be part of the donation and the, to, uh, they also wanted to uh, donate so, to donate something to the holy place. And although they were a little bit late, Hashem accepted their plea and they're bringing all those uh, special presents. So it could have been written only one time. We could have heard about the first uh, president. In our case, it's the president of the tribe of Yehuda. We, the Torah could have said, um, and in the, on the first day, the uh, Nachshon ben Aminadav, Nachshon, the son of Aminadav, Aminadav, the president of the tribe of Yehuda, brought his uh, gifts and sacrifices, telling us what they were, and then say, go on and say, and the next day was the president of Issachar. He brought, uh, he brought the same, and so on and so on. Right? Why is, is it being repeated so many times? The answer lies in the in the issue that is written right before the issue of the presence of the presidents. That issue is the priestly blessing. Let's have a look at the at that priestly blessing that is being said by Kohanim, was said by Kohanim in Beis Amigdash in the holy temple when we had it every day. And today it's being said in every synagogue every day. So what is this all about? What is this blessing about? It's a blessing that Hashem lets the Kohanim bless us. He's blessing us, the nation of Israel, through the blessing of the Kohanim. What is this all about? So it's, con it's being um, made of several verses. First verse says, Yevarechecha Hashem veishmerecha. Hashem would bless you and would keep you, would guard you. But that apparently is not enough because the Torah goes on and gives us more blessing. And it says, Hashem would make his face shine on you and would be gracious to you. Gracious to you. And even that is not enough. We need more. Hashem knows we need more and he gives us more blessing. The Kohanim bless us more. And they go on. it goes on and say, Hashem would turn his face towards you and would give you peace. This is how that blessing sounds. This is how the blessing, the priestly blessing, the very holy blessing that you get every day is being signed by peace. Because peace is what makes everything whole. With peace, we, uh, we have everything. Without peace, we have nothing. So the Torah is teaching us a very important lesson here. Here you have 
the blessings that com are completed only with peace. And right afterwards, we have the issue of the presence of of the uh, president. And it tells us no president was more important than the one before. Even the first president, president of Yehuda, his uh, sacrifice starts with a vav, with the end. And he brought this and that. Why? Because it tells us he wasn't he was not more important than the ones that came after him, nor he was less important than the ones that came after him. They were all equal. And Hashem accepted all of their sacrifices and presents just the same, just equally. And just in the name of peace, to show us that everybody is equal, that there was peace in between them, that nobody thought that he was more than the other, the Torah is repeating itself again and again and again. 55 unnecessary, oh, seem unnecessary, verses are being repeated in the Torah just in the name of peace. And this is telling us a very strong message. Without peace, we would have nothing. So, nothing. So, we would write so many more words and verses in the Torah that every word of it is holy and every word of it is important just in the name of peace. What would you do to bring peace upon us, upon everybody, upon friend, your friends, your family, in order to make peace?